In this video, you'll get your repository set up on your own computer and install the open source design tools. You should already have a repository created on GitHub. If not, then go to the video creating your repository. The setup should take around five minutes and you'll need about eight gigabytes of hard disk space. If you want to run the tests, add another 25 minutes. We're using Ubuntu 20, but Ubuntu 22 or WSL on Windows also work. We'll start off by cloning the repository. Go to the repository you created in the previous video. Click the green code button. With GitHub, you can either clone via HTTPS or SSH. Either will work and it only makes a difference when you want to push your changes. This will depend on the Git client you use. I use SSH keys, so I'll click the SSH version. Copy the URL and go to your terminal. Type git clone, the name of your repo, and press enter. After a few minutes, you should have the new repository set up on your local computer. Now we're going to set up some environment variables. An environment variable stores some information about the setup, for example, where the ASIC tools in the PDK will be installed. An environment variable is only active in one terminal, and after you close the terminal, they'll be lost. So make sure that you do all your work in one terminal and always start working by setting the environment variables. Open lane underscore root sets where the open lane ASIC tools will be installed. PDK underscore root sets where the open source process design kit will be installed. Now we can install open lane and the PDK by typing make setup. It takes about five to 10 minutes, so I've sped up the footage here. It's a good idea to build an example project to test the tools. You can skip the following steps if you don't want to try it, but if you do have problems later, it's a good idea to come back here and run this test. Inside the open lane directory, you will see two subdirectories. The user project example is an example project. We can build it by just typing make user underscore proj underscore example. It takes about 30 minutes, so again, sped up the footage here. Now the project is complete and we can see that the GDS has been updated and we can load it with K layout. I'll turn on a few of the cells so we can see more of the design inside. If you need help or support, the best place to go is the open source Silicon Slack community. The link to join is in the description below.